Y'all good? Yeah. How y'all doing? Come on, y'all can do better than that now. Yeah. That's it. There y'all go. Black people. I was doing all that damn yell at the Mind Church. Now y'all come to the comedy show when I act shy. Yeah. Damn, shit. How y'all doing though? You know what's crazy? I want all y'all to just you know what matter of fact, a round of applause, who all got uh, teenagers? Come on now. Yeah, do me a favor. Let them all know. Whatever they do now, gonna affect their goddamn future. You hear me? Whatever they do now. Oh, fuck that. Hell yeah. He told me, he said, man, they ain't read that damn application to me, told me, uh, they, I stole a, a chicken from a farm in Indianola, Mississippi. I'm 86 years old. <laughs> Hell yeah. You gotta, watch, you gotta watch what you do. You gotta watch what you do. Hell yeah. Ain't y'all glad this weather didn't change? Yeah? I know I am. Shit, I'm a goddess man. I work in that shit all damn day. Fuck okay. that. And then I work all in that damn heat. I take my hat off to my ancestors. I tell y'all that shit. Fuck okay. that. Shit, working in that hot ass heat, no pain and ass whoopings. Fuck okay. that, uh uh. No. And then you know what I thought about? I said, you know what? Then the slave probably wasn't all that bad. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. I know a lot of y'all saying, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> it wasn't all that bad. I mean, all the food you want, all the new points you want, because you know we had tobacco, <laughs> free clothing, free housing. I know niggas living like that today. <laughs> and they happy than a motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I was watching Roots and all them documentaries. I said, damn. The slave that got his ass whooped the most did the less work. <laughs> Think about it. Because he always had to be laid up in that shack with that fine black woman, because you black women are beautiful. That fine black woman putting that grease all on his back. <laughs> it takes two, three weeks to heal. I figure, shit, I do that once a month. I've been playing these ass whoopings. Fuck that, I ain't doing shit. It's the damn hot work this shit. I be playing these ass whoopings. Shit. Man, it's gonna be 110 degrees tomorrow. I think I'm about due for me to ask what the fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be goddamn it. Going in their own big house. Breaking shit, because I know Master gonna beat my ass. Going in, this breaking base. Going in, knock on this bedroom door. Uh, uh, Master, I think I done fucked up. I done broke your mama base. Take your ass to that shack. You give your ass over. Thank you, thank you, master. God bless you, master. God damn it. Oh hell yeah, she. I see all y'all. Y'all looking good here today. Guess y'all curly hair. I see a lot of people here with good hair. I guess y'all got what y'all have Indian, right? Yeah. This is y'all think? Nigga, please. Let me tell you what happened. Your great 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 grandma was a fine motherfucker. Master couldn't help himself. <laughs> Remember, he fucked more slaves than he even fucked his wife. Shit. Ain't never seen an Indian living in Africa. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna give you some credit. I ain't never seen an Indian picking no damn cotton, have y'all? Alright then, shit. I'm no damn half Indian. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, but you know what? Black, black, you know what? Matter of fact, black fellas, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I've been watching a lot of stuff. We got to start respecting our women. Yeah. And that's real talk. You know, I'm bullshit. Come on, Respect our women. I mean, we treat, we the only race. We treat our black women like they ain't shit sometimes. Call them mad, ugly, fat, black. God damn. Well, white people don't treat they fucking women like that. Why the fuck we do that shit? I know a lot of guys be saying to me, like, man, you love big girls. <laughs> Fuck that. So what? Shit, I'd rather my woman have some stretch marks and cellulite. Shit, and be healthy than have a fine motherfucker with a 30 day dry ass cough. <laughs> hey, hold on. You've been coughing for about a month now. We got to go get our asshole checked. Fuck that. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Then I watch a lot of guys. 
they be comparing their woman to, to the Instagram video things. Get mad because their woman don't look like her. You serious? Rick Ross can't even keep a bitch, and he a millionaire. What makes you think your Walmart working ass good damn it can fuck with one of them? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Think about it. Them type of females, good looks and big dicks don't matter. You know? They looking for that money. You feel me? Hell yeah, shit. Yeah, a lot of shit been going on. This whole world been crazy. I was watching news the other day. They say Serena Williams looked like an ugly ass black man. <laughs> and Bruce Jenner looked like a beautiful, flawless woman. <laughs> to who? I mean, come on now. To who? Bruce Jenner looked like an old ass Barbie doll that came to life and had a fucking stroke. Mouth twisted and shit. And you know what? He picked up one woman trick real good. You know what? Four, five years ago, you couldn't even get him to talk in front of your damn camera, could you? Soon as he cut his dick off, you can't shut him the fuck up. <laughs> he picked up one of y'all women straight. Y'all see y'all women straight for real. Can't shut his ass the fuck up. Shit, wait till he gets 65 years old and decide he want to chop his dick and balls off. Be lazy and shit. Want to squat and he take a piss. I don't have nothing against no gays. No lesbian, look here, live your life. But look here, when they showing that shit at 7 o'clock in front of my child, and he asking me, what the fuck am I looking at? And I gotta explain that bullshit? I'm not ready for all that shit yet. Shit, hell yeah. The whole world going losing their fucking mind. Y'all know what it is. You know, I was watching the other news the other day also, and they said, uh, it's the 15th year anniversary of the alleged R. Kelly tape. <laughs> The alleged R. Kelly too. We all know that one him. We know that one him. Yeah, damn it, shit. Hell yeah, shit. That shit there, that movie, that watching that movie. Cause I remember I watched. Who all round of applause? Who all watched that shit? Come on, keep it real. Come here. Y'all was watching child pornography. Y'all wrong. Y'all admitting to that shit. Bar Kelly, he, he keep it real. Wasn't he pissing? Ooh, he was pissing like he was holding that shit. I don't even think that was a part of the movie. He was pissing like he just had a big ass warm Gatorade. I don't know, that wasn't a part of the movie. He was, ooh, ooh, ooh. And he shook it in. Ooh. He said, that might have felt good. Shit. <laughs> no, hell no. But you know, the reason I'm talking about him because it's not about R. Kelly, it's about Jerry. Jared, y'all know Jared, the subway boy. Y'all been hearing about Jared. There y'all go. So I start talking about white people, black people start getting quiet. Shit. Man. Come on now. Jared. He his ass whooped. His wife said, God damn it up. She should have had the red flags when she come home and he laying across the bed, asshole nigga, watching the Disney Channel. <laughs> You should have known something was wrong with him. Anybody in here come home your husband laying across the bed? The fuck, there's somebody, somebody right with this. The fucking Jerry. Hell yeah, he paid each one of his victims $100,000 each. And it's not hush money, it's I'm sorry money. Y'all hear me? I'm sorry money. I know black women right now who got a sugar daddy won't even help her pay a fucking phone bill. Yes, $100,000 each. Yeah. And that motherfucker, he, let me tell you something though. He got some balls, because they said uh, he don't want to go to population. He can send his next week. He don't want to go to population. I mean, he don't want to go to lumps. I'm lying. Ooh, I'm fucked up. Shit. Come on, y'all fucking at work too. Shit, fuck that. Look at y'all. I fucked up. I'm gonna do that over. Shit. Y'all be fucking up. Yeah, he said he don't want to go to, 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 what's that? When they, when they be having you lock protective custody. There we go. Hey, he said he don't want to go to prison custody. I'm going to population. I said, well, damn. Shit, I mean, you gonna have about six wide back black niggas like me sitting there waiting on this big ass. Shit, you gonna ask him the same shit they ask you when you go on Subway. <laughs> what you want, motherfucker? The six inch or the motherfucking foot long. God damn it. Look here. Y'all been great. I wanna thank Power 92. Raw Radio, Chandel, the beautiful Miss Sherelle for giving me the opportunity.
Y'all been great. Love you, mom. Thanks, y'all.